friends and welcome to a new happy learning video. Today, we're going to learn all about the largest animal class on the planet. Introducing the arthropods. The arthropods are invertebrates, meaning they don't have internal skeletons. They are a vast amount of them, including this dancing crab, these dragonflies, this caterpillar, or even all these tiny ants. The arthropods are very different from each other. Or do you think this butterfly and this shrimp have a similarity? Truth is, they don't look alike at all. But yet all arthropods have common characteristics. Arthropod is a Latin word, which means atro, joints, and podos, feet or legs. The main arthropod characteristic refers to what their name suggests. They all have jointed legs. Another fascinating characteristic that they all have in common is that their body is divided into segments, many of which, though not all, are protected by an external skeleton, which is used as a shield or a shell. Some arthropods' bodies do not grow at the same rate as their exoskeleton, therefore making them shed it for a bigger size, a process known as malting. Arthropods can be either terrestrial or aquatic. The terrestrials, such as this scorpion, breathes through their trachea, whereas the aquatic arthropods, such as these long lobsters, breathe through their gills. Arthropods eat everything. Some are herbivores, such as this little caterpillar. Others, carnivores, like this praying mantis. And others, omnivores, like the wasps, which eat everything. Most arthropods have internal fertilization and are oviparous, meaning they lay eggs to reproduce. Larvas hatch from these eggs and then go through different stages before becoming an adult. The changes is called metamorphosis. As there are so many different types of arthropods, they are classified into four large groups depending on the amount of legs they have. Insects have six legs, such as an ant, flies, or those really annoying nets. The arachnids have eight legs, such as spiders or scorpions. Crustaceans have ten legs, like this shrimp or this shy crab. And their myriapods have more than ten legs, and their bodies are elongated like these caterpillars or these centipedes. Now we're going to remember the most important things. Arthropods are invertebrates and their main characteristics are their jointed legs. Their bodies are divided into segments and they lay eggs to reproduce, meaning they are oviparous. The terrestrial arthropods breathe through their tracheas and the aquatic arthropods through their gills and they can be either herbivores, carnivores, or omnivores. Lastly, and very importantly, you must remember that the arthropods are classified in four groups, depending on the amount of legs they have. Insects, six legs. Arachnids, eight legs. Crustaceans, 10 legs. And myriapods are those who have more than 10 legs and have elongated bodies. Well, that's everything for today. And now you know a little bit more about arthropods. Until the next video, my friends, and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning.